Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am excited to share with you my in-depth review of the highly anticipated Xiaomi 13 Ultra smartphone. This phone has been getting a lot of bots lately and for good reason. It is packed with some of the latest and greatest features and it looks absolutely stunning. So without further ado, let's dive into the Xiaomi 13 Ultra review. Xiaomi has done an excellent job with the design of the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. It boasts a unique rear round camera deco that features four cameras, giving it a sleek look. The phone screen is curved and has a partial square bezel that transitions into a curve. The curved screen provides an immersive review experience and makes the phone easy to hold in one hand. The phone is also available in three different vegan leather colors, black, olive green, and white. The vegan leather feels premium and has a luxurious touch to the device. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra is an impressive device with powerful internal specs, an exceptional camera, a great screen, and impressive battery life. It is available in three different variants, with up to 16 gigabyte of RAM and one terabyte of storage. The device's internal storage is based on the latest UFS 3.1 technology, providing faster data transfer speeds. The performance is also exceptional, thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and 4 nanometer TSMC process technology. The phone's Mi Ice Loop cooling pump ensures that the device doesn't heat up during prolonged use, ensuring long-term performance. The phone is capable of running the latest games and apps without any lag. The device's camera setup is also impressive, featuring four 50 megapixel cameras with Leica Summicron optic lens. The main camera has a two level of adjustable aperture, enabling users to capture stunning bokeh shots. And the ultra wide camera is perfect for capturing landscapes and group photos. The camera produces stunning images with great detail and with a Chinese domestic made 2K OLED screen with excellent color accuracy and up to 2600 nits of peak brightness, co engineered with TCL CSOT, your photo display looks the same as what you see with your eyes. The device is equipped with a 5000 mAh power battery that can last up to 1.34 days of use and supports up to 90 watts of wired super fast charge and 50 watts of wireless fast charge, making it one of the fastest charging devices available in the market. The Xiaomi 30 Ultra's battery life is impressive considering the device's powerful specs. Overall, it is a device that offers great value for money with powerful specs, a great camera, and exceptional battery life. Xiaomi 13 Ultra is an impressive phone with some notable strengths and weaknesses. One of its standout features is its genuine color accuracy, which marks a significant improvement over previous Xiaomi models. The colors are vivid and lifelike, delivering a high enjoyable viewing experience. Another notable feature of the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is its support for 50 watts wireless charging. This means that you can charge the phone wirelessly at speeds that you are comparable to wear charging. Also, there is a minor upgrade from the previous USB 2.0 port to currently USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. It offers faster data transfer speeds and is a boon for users who value such capabilities. However, it's not a game changer, and its introduction during the keynote event may have been overhyped. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra boasts yet another exceptional feature, its support for NFC. With this technology, you can enjoy the convenience and security of contactless payments and access other NFC-enabled features. It's impressive to know that the Xiaomi 13 Ultra supports this cutting-edge feature. Additionally, the phone also supports RFID card simulation, enabling you to easily unlock gates without having to rummage through your belongings to locate the keys. On the downside, the phone's Chinese domestic-made screen leaves something to be desired, although it boasts a high performance values and comes from TCL CSOT. It still falls short in comparison to the Samsung E6 texture screen found on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. The most noticeable issue is the greenish curves that can be distracting to some users. 
Another potential downside is the rear camera decal, which can frost over in certain conditions. This issue is especially apparent in high altitude areas or cold temperatures, making it difficult or even impossible to take photos or videos. Given that, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is a flagship phone with a premium press tag. It's concerning that it can experience such issues, even though it's IP68 verified. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra's full GMS capability is definitely a major plus for those who rely on Google services on a daily basis. With this phone, you can easily book a ride, make reservations, and control your smart home devices using Google Assistant. It's reassuring to know that you won't have to worry about any compatibility issues or missing out on key features when using the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. However, while Xiaomi touts Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support on the 13 Ultra, it's worth noting that these features seem to be geared more towards casual video recording rather than serious movie watching, and might not be the best choice for cinephiles who are looking for a more immersive viewing experience. When it comes to Netflix, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra does support the Widevine L1 security level, which means that you will be able to stream high-quality content from the streaming giant. But there is one major caveat. The phone does not support HDR capabilities for Netflix. For some customers, this might be a deal-breaker. As previously mentioned, this phone boasts exceptional photography capabilities, thanks in part to its partnership with Leica. This partnership has been integral to Xiaomi's photography advancements since the Xiaomi 12S series. With a year having passed since its release, it's time to evaluate how this device measures up against other industry leaders, including the iPhone 13 Pro Max, as well as its Android competitor, the Meizu 20 Pro. In the first set, all three devices demonstrated excellent photographic capabilities and a strong direct sunlight, particularly for capturing characters on signposts. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra impressed with its capabilities to capture the background paint texture clearly and in layers, visible upon closer inspection. However, the iPhone has limited aperture, resulting in the cropping of extra information from the final photo. In a horizontal comparison of the three, the Meizu 20 Pro appeared hazier and foggier over the signpost. Moving on to the second set, we see the same river watching pavilion captured in the afternoon. The Meizu 20 Pro still struggled with haziness, and both the Meizu and iPhone captured camera dazzles, creating halos at the bottom right corner. Nonetheless, Advancements in camera technology in recent years enabled all three devices to capture lightning rods on the pavilion and characters on the plaque with sharp clarity. The sole difference lay in the hues of the three pictures, which is subjective and depends on personal preference. Finally, the Chinese dragon tiles on the pavilion sides were examined. The iPhone's limited camera set failed to capture details of cracks, well, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra with its great aperture produces a more visually pleasing result, compete with excellent bokeh and hue, in comparison to the Meizu 20 Pro. Murray, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra achieved another milestone in street photography with its excellent performance in all three sets. But overall, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is a fantastic phone with a lot to offer. It's a great choice for those who are looking for a premium smartphone with a number of impressive features. If you are looking for a high-end phone with a great camera, a beautiful display, and powerful performance, then the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is definitely worth considering. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching my review about the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>